Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. It's Derek Cavoni, the Pizza Ninja, and I'm here at Ultimate Ninja's Naperville with Jesse, Flex, Rebecca, and the rest of the Ultimate Ninja's Naperville staff. We are so excited to be putting on this holiday-themed WNNL. So, let's jump right into the general rules. This is a flow course qualifier, which means your results are based on how far you get into the course without failing. So, the... Standings will be based on who gets the furthest, the fastest. Once your first fall on the course, that will be where your official run ends. You will be allowed to continue though throughout the obstacles until you complete the course or your time limit is up, but you do not get any points throughout the course after your first fall. We will not be providing chalk for athletes, so you will, it'll be on you to bring your own chalk. If you do not have a certified coach to follow you through the course, just bring your chalk to the start line. We'll have one of our resetters carry it for you. For certified coaches, you will not be allowed in the warm-up area or on the course with the athletes unless you are a certified coach by the WNL. You will have to let the front desk know that you are a certified coach. They'll give you a wristband if you are in their system. If you're not in their system, you are not allowed to be on the course or with the athletes in the warm-up area. General WNL dismount rules. There's a three-phase dismount uh, rules that you need to follow. First, you need to disengage the obstacle, break the plane of the dismount platform, and then touch the dismount platform with your any part of your body before touching out of bounds. Uh, if a platform, a finish platform, is a start platform for the next obstacle, you are not allowed to touch the ground. You are only allowed to stay on that platform and continue on to the next obstacle. Touching anything out of bounds while on that start finish platform will result in a disqualification. Um, we don't have any connected obstacles, so we don't have to worry about that rule. Uh, so uh, that's that's it. So let's jump right into the course. Here are the rules for the preteen division. Preteen males, you got three minutes. Preteen females, you got three minutes and thirty seconds. Let's jump into the first obstacle. Your start platform is this black box here. Your first obstacle is called reindeer shoes. You will use the green monkey bars to get to here. They will be oriented a little differently. You'll see them on competition day, but for now, here's your demo. It's a Christmas surprise. <laughs> <laughs> And that is it clear. This becomes your start platform for your next obstacle. It is called Five Golden Rings. You're allowed these two rings, these two rings, and this ring to get to your finished platform, which is right here. Maggie has got your demo. And that is a clear. Your next obstacle is called reindeer droppings. Your start platform is this red pad here. You are allowed to use the reindeer droppings. Your finished platform is the warped wall. Here's your demo. That is a clear. The warped wall becomes your start platform for your next obstacle. It is called Sleigh Runway. You are allowed the warped wall. Hands and feet on this trampoline. Hands and feet on this box. Your finished platform is this red platform here. And Jesse is going to have uh. your demo. <laughs> And that is a clear. From here, you're moving on to your next obstacle. It is called Under the Mistletoe. You'll start on this black platform. You are allowed with your feet. This green top here, the blue is off, just the green. You're allowed with your hands and feet, this rope. With your feet, 
just the green with your hands and feet. This rope, your dismount platform is this box here, just as your demo. And that is a clear from there. Moving on to your next obstacle. It is called naughty or nice. All right, you are allowed with your feet only this balance tank, this green, and this PVC. You are also allowed with your hands and feet, the green and the blue on these H blocks. This tumble track line here is off. It creates an invisible like wall that these H blocks cannot cross. Your finished platform is that red box there. We're gonna give you two demos. And since we're so cool and fun on Christmas, we're gonna give you at the same time. So here's your demo. And that is how you get a clear. Either way, naughty or nice. From there, you're moving on to your next obstacle. It's called ornaments. And we'll start on this box here. You are allowed to use any of the ornaments to get to the red dismount. As always, do not use the straps or the eye bolts or else you'll be disqualified. Jesse, as you're done. Click. Your next obstacle is called Candy Cane Lane. Your start platform is this blue box. You are allowed the two shiny, beautiful Silent Ninja Candy Canes. They're allowed on this bar. You could also use them on this ring here. Your hands and feet are also allowed on this truss. Here's your demo of Candy Cane Lane. From there, you're coming on to your next obstacle. It's called Legos for Christmas. You will use this Lego. You will use, I'm sorry, the outside, the blue portion on the outside is what you will use. So these handles here. You will use these pockets of the Lego legs. As you can see, they're Lego legs. Definitely what they are. From there, you're going to the green on the outside of this Lego to get to your dismount platform, which will be right here when you see the demo done by Troy. Another Christmas surprise. <laughs> You're coming on over to here for your next obstacle is called chimney climb you will use the trampoline your feet are only allowed on this side of the spider this side of the spider 
is off for hands and feet. Incidental contact will be okay, but it is off. Feet are allowed on the jumping spider. Hands on this rope, that ring, this rope, this ring, in this rope, your finished platform is this green box here. And your demo. Sorry, Maggie? Yeah. Maggie's got your demo. And clear. Your next obstacle is called milk and cookies. You'll start on this black box. You are allowed this ring with your hands, with your hands, hands, that ring, this window, this ring, this window, this ring, and then you are allowed this ring, which is on a magnet for this second window. You are not allowed to use the outsides. You are only allowed to use the ring inside the window. Okay? Your hands are not allowed on this one at all. Okay? So the ring is going in the window. Your dismount. This black box here. Jesse, as you're done. Your final obstacle is called Christmas Tree Farm. You will start on that black box. You are allowed with your hands this trapeze bar and these red slopers. Your dismount is this green box. Your decked out Rudolph themed buzzer is right here. Try to get your demo. time runs out you got yourself a full clear good luck we'll see you on sunday